Hello everyone. In the previous class, we learned about a complex tissue that is xylem. In this session, I will take up next complex tissue that is phloem. Phloem. Okay. Phloem is a complex tissue. It is also a complex tissue which helps in conduction of organic solutes. Conduction of organic solutes that means food materials that conducts food materials from leaves to various parts of plant body the term phloem is coined by Carl Nageli Carl Nageli coined the term phloem in the year 1858 in the year 1858 Carl Nageli given the term Phloem. The phloem is also called bast. It is also called bast or it is also known as leptome. Other names of phloem are bast or leptome. Like xylem, phloem is also composed of different types of elements. They are number one, first one is sieve elements sieve elements and second element is companion cells companion cells and third element is third element is phloem fibers phloem fibers and fourth element is phloem parenchyma phloem parenchyma these four elements are present in the complex tissue phloem among these four phloem fibers are dead cells these are dead cells dead cells remaining three elements are composed of living cells okay now I will explain sieve elements. Coming to sieve elements, coming to sieve elements, these are the chief conducting elements. They are main conducting elements. They conduct food from leaves to different parts of plant body. Again, sieve elements are divided into two, two types based on their specialization. They are number one sieve cells sieve cells and second type of sieve elements are sieve tubes sieve tubes these two types of elements are present in sieve elements okay coming to first type sieve cells sieve cells sieve cells are primitive cells they are primitive cells these cells are with broad middle point and narrow tapering ends they have broad middle part and tapering ends next these cells composed of dense cytoplasm dense cytoplasm vacuolated cytoplasm vacuoles are present in the cytoplasm next in the cell walls in the cell walls sieve pores are present sieve pores are present the area which possess sieve pores are called sieve area sieve area this area is called sieve area in this sieve area sieve pores are present the helps in movement of cytoplasm from one sieve cell to another sieve cell sieve cells are intertwined with one another to form a strand like structure this is another sieve cell and which connect uh, this sieve cell to form a strand like structure and they are st slightly overlapping one another and these sieve tubes are mainly found in pteridophytes and gymnosperms they are found in pteridophytes and gymnosperms right 
okay next coming to second type sieve tubes sieve tubes are elongated long cylindrical structures they are i am drawing here they are wide long and cylindrical structures they are appear like cylinder and they are comparable to xylem vessels here sieve cells are comparable to xylem tracheids and sieve tubes are comparable to xylem vessels okay they are long structures elongated cells and cylindrical cells they have wide cavity or empty space in the cells next uh, the cells possess vacuolated protoplast dense and vacuolated protoplast this all is protoplast and the cell wall is made up of with cellulose this cell wall is made up of with cellulose i'm writing here cellulose very rarely lignin is found in some species next in the cytoplasm nucleus is absent nucleus is absent at initial stages nucleus is present in sieve tubes but at maturity the nucleus disappears these are the only plant cells without a nucleus these are the only plant cells plant cells without nucleus this is very very important in entrance point of view okay these are the plant cells without a nucleus they are sieve tubes right and sieve tubes are present one above the another this is another sieve tube this is another one more sieve tube they are present one above the another and these sieve tubes are separated by sieve plates this area is called sieve plate this sieve plates separating two sieve tubes in this in this sieve plate sieve pores are present sieve pores that means small slits or pores are present between two sieve tubes once again i am repeating in between two sieve tubes sieve plate is present in the sieve plate perforations or sieve pores are present they may be simple perforations or compound perforations this is called sieve plate in the sieve plate there are perforations perforations are present they may be simple perforation or compound perforation at maturity these sieve pores are deposited with a carbohydrate that carbohydrate is called callose callose this is also very very important in entrance point of view they helps in movement of cytoplasm from one sieve tube to another sieve tube and these sieve tubes are found in angiosperms they are found in angiosperms this is about sieve elements next coming to second element that is companion cell second element of phloem is companion cell companion cells these are the specialized parenchyma cells that are associated with sieve tubes they are specialized parenchyma and they are closely associated with sieve tubes such cells are called companion cells and they contain dense cytoplasm and a big nucleus this is a nucleus a big nucleus is present and they are also having dense cytoplasm and vacuolated protoplast vacuoles are also present in the protoplast next sieve tube and companion cells both are originated from same meristematic cell sieve tube and companion cells originate from same mother cell or same 
meristem meristematic cell right meristematic cell next one or more companion cells are associated with sieve tube this is sieve tube one in some species only single companion cell is associated with sieve tube in some um, more than two more than one or more than two companion cells are associated with sieve tube and these sieve tubes are absent in gymnosperms and pteridophytes they are absent in gymnosperms and pteridophytes pteridophytes instead of these companion cells gymnosperms having albuminous cells they contain albuminous cells instead of companion cells instead of companion cells albuminous cells are found in gymnosperms right this is about second element that is companion cell next coming to third one third element is phloem fibers phloem fibers these are living or dead cells phloem fibers are living or sometimes they are living cells actually they are dead cells dead cells they are narrow elongated thread like structures these are the fibers they are narrow elongated thread like structures and they are generally dead cells and the cell wall is generally made up of with lignin the cell wall is made up of with lignin and uh, in the cell protoplast is generally absent protoplast is generally absent and the fibers which are associated with phloem are called bast fibers bast fibers in some species the cell wall of the fibers is made up of with cellulose in some species cell wall is made up of with cellulose and such fibers are called flax fibers flax fibers they have come high commercial value in the market yes. these fibers useful in giving mechanical strength they helps in giving mechanical strength mechanical strength if the fibers are living cells then they helps in storage of food storage of food okay this is about phloem fibers coming to fourth one phloem parenchyma phloem parenchyma the parenchyma which associates with phloem is called phloem parenchyma these are the parenchyma cells these are parenchyma cells generally parenchyma consist of uh, the cells consist of thin walls these are thin walls they are generally cellulosic cellulose is present in their cell wall in the cells a clear nucleus is present and dense cytoplasm is also found some vacuoles are present in the cytoplasm and they are mainly concerned with storage of carbohydrates that is starch they are concerned with storage of starch and they are also useful in storage of fats and they accumulate resins accumulate they helps in accumulation of resins next gums tannins etc tannins etc and this phloem parenchyma is again two types ray parenchyma and axial parenchyma ray parenchyma and axial parenchyma ray parenchyma helps in radial conduction of food materials radial conduction of food material 
For example, this is pit around the pit. Vascular bundles are present. That is, phloem and xylem are present. In reparenchyma, re radiating from center to periphery, and that helps in conduction of organic solutes. Next, coming to axial parenchyma. Axial parenchyma helps in vertical conduction of food materials. Vertical conduction of organic solutes. For example, this is a stem. In the stem, this axial parenchyma helps in vertical conduction. Vertical conduction. This is about phloem parenchyma. In the next session, I will come with another type of tissue. Thank you.